Layout of a proof, rectangle diagonal proof. Okay, we have a rectangle here, and I know it's all drawn up, but imagine that it was empty, okay? <laughs> I've done all this work in it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to show that this blue, we bisected it with the red lines to help us solve the proof, but we're going to show that this blue triangle is congruent to this green triangle, and that's how we're going to prove that WY is congruent to ZX, that WY is congruent to ZX by proving that these two triangles, normally you'd do it across, like that one to that one, but now we're going to do it reflexive this way, up and down, okay? So our given is that WXYZ is a parallelogram and that Z is a right, ang tri uh, a right angle right here, okay? So it's a parallelogram and that's a right angle, okay? And we need to prove that this one is congruent to this one, okay? So this is what I want to show you real quick. When you see WY and ZX, if this was completely empty inside, you'd say, what? WY? If it was empty inside, there would be no line there. See? It would just be completely empty. That would tell you that there needs to be a line drawn in. And then it says over here, ZX. ZX. And if it were completely empty inside, when you started doing your work, you'd say, ah, oh, there's supposed to be a line there. So that's a hint. Okay? So that told you to draw the lines. So if we can prove right angles and congruency, and then sides and angles are congruent, we've done it. So that's what we need to do. So it says that WXYZ is a parallelogram, and that was given, and that angle Z is a right angle, that was given. So we can say that WXYZ is a rectangle, because a rectangle is a parallelogram, okay? If you want to know more about this, see video number 129. So now we've proven it's a rectangle. So we say that angles W, X, Y, and Z are all right angles because of the fact that four interior angles of a rectangle are right angles, okay? And that angle W is congruent to X, which is congruent to Y, which is congruent to Z because all right angles are congruent. They're all 90 degrees. So now we've proven that, the, that it's a rectangle and it's got four 90 degree angles, see? So now we're going to say that W, Z this line is congruent to XY, okay? See, these two are congruent. See the slash marks? Our reasoning is opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent, okay? I don't know if this is getting too fuzzy for you. Then we say that WX, this line, is congruent to this line. See the two hash marks? Same reason, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent, okay? So now we've proven the sides are congruent. We've proven the angles are congruent, and we've proven the sides are congruent. So we can say that WZ, this one, is congruent to itself, which is the reflexive property. That's in video 27 if you want more information. So we can share, say, because it's a shared side of a triangle, see? They're both sharing this. The blue one is sharing it, and the green one is both sharing WZ, okay? We can say that triangle WXZ, all right, WXZ, this blue one, is congruent to the green one, WYZ. And our reasoning is side angle side, okay? And you can watch that more of, if you don't understand that, that's in video number 101. Now, because we were able to say side angle side for the reason, we can now say that WY is congruent to ZX because of the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. CPCTC, that's in video 112. So, that is how to do a proof for rectangle diagonals to show that one of the angles is a right angle and to prove that one side is congruent to the other side. Our next video is going to be about the perimeter and area of rectangles.